Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your tarot love reading from now to the end of April 2020 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you are Scorpio. So I'm just pulling a reading card. I've not used these for a long time actually. So let us see what we get. What is the message for Scorpio please in love? Now to the end of April 2020 please. We have say what you mean. Say what you mean. Speak your truth. I'm just going to read that out to you, Scorpio. Take some time to clarify what you need to communicate and to whom. There, will, there may need to be a conversation to be had. Getting something off your chest, maybe. Okay. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides in Love. Now to the end of March 2020. So we have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things, things as they are. There is no point in trying to change what is beyond our control. Okay. You might well be there needs to be some conversation to get clarity on helping you to accept a situation. Let's see what else we get, Scorpio. Angels, what is the message for Scorpio? Okay. We have Larimar, sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. Okay, Scorpio. So I pull five cards and then we get clarifiers to go deeper into the message. So we look at the challenge or the issue you face in love, how you feel about the other person. That could be a past, present or, con or future love that you're considering. We say as, oh, how weird. Okay, those just turned over. Um, let's go with it. So we have the Tower, the King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Okay. So the, the third card is how the other person feels about you. Same criteria applies. The fourth card is the advice from spirit and the fifth card is the outcome. Should you take that advice? But as usual, Scorpio, it probably won't resonate for everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. How you feel about the other person. We have the five of wands. How they feel about you. The Nine of Wands. Advice from Spirit the Fool. And the outcome we have the Seven of Swords. It's okay, we'll get clarified, Scorpio. So, Angel Spirits Guides, can we clarify the cards on the table for Scorpio in love? Now to the end of April 2020. What do we have for Scorpio in love? Can we clarify the cards? Neat. Okay. So starting with the first three cards, the issue or challenge you face in love for Scorpio. What is the message, Angel Spirits Guide? What is the clarifier? Thank you. Oh, two cards. Interesting. Okay, oh wow. <laughs> we have the devil and we have the emperor. Wow. That's a story in itself, I think. Um, the five of wands, Scorpio. We have the knight of wands. This is how you feel about the other person. I'm going to pull one more for this. Knight of cups. 
The Nine of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. The Fool. We have the Queen of Cups. And Death clarifies the Seven of Swords. Okay. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, so specifically we have the King of Pentacles here, which is a card of Taurus. The other cards clarify and we have Aries and also Capricorn. So those could be people in your life involved in this issue. There was a big change here. Somebody that you trusted, the King of Pentacles can be about trust, in love. Somebody who you could have uh, you could have built your life around or built your life around. It could have been a long-term relationship. Um, this can be about revelation. This can be about falsities being revealed, truths being revealed. The Tower is about big change. It is a card of, of where the universe strikes down this tower. Now, this can be relationships to do with a love reading. Something that you thought was built on solid foundation, as soon as it was tested, came crumbling down. Because this square tower and this round crown, your round crown, didn't fit anymore. It wasn't built to stand the test of time. I feel certainly with the devil, this can be about unhealthy relationships, toxic relationships. This can sometimes be linked to breaking addictive cycles in relationships as well. You know where you know somebody might not be good for you and yet you keep going back to them. I mean, we've had this view before, Scorpio, I think, where I think it's been in the weekly or the the monthly readings which is about breaking karmic cycles we do have the death card here which is again a pluto energy it's very much linked to to um that that breaking the karmic cycle something needs to end there needs to be a finality to that ending so it is about getting off the roundabout but i do think that there is definitely a change here because if there has been an unhealthy situation a power struggle um, some real instability that has occurred in your relationship. The Emperor is where you are taking control. You see, the devil is when we feel powerless in a situation where we can't see that way forward in how to break free of this kind of illusion. And yet the Emperor is the complete opposite of the devil in a way because we give our power to the dev devil, we give our power knowingly or unknowingly to the illusion that we we don't have any power over our own destiny and the emperor is somebody who takes the control who takes the initiative who sits in their power he doesn't share it with anybody so it's almost kind of like from being powerless to feeling powerful there is a change that has happened to do with a relationship that could have gone sour somebody that you thought you trusted there could have been something, could have been quite big, Scorpio. Something came crumbling down. Some possible truth or revelation was revealed to you. And I just think, this is you taking your power back. Because... The Five of Wands can be about bickering. It can also be about struggle. You know, it's that back and forth negative energy that just never seems to stop in a relationship. And the Fives are instability as well. I just think some of you are in search of something new. The Knight of Wands is a card of Sagittarius. New horizons beckon. This is about putting this behind you, finding new direction in search of new love, new chemistry, new connection maybe for some of you because we have the Knight of Cups as well. I certainly feel for some of you this is you in search of something new. 
I do because the nights in tarot they can be where we're finding direction after struggle after big change after this revelation having to find yourself again you know reconnect to your own power to take charge and move on from a situation but the knights can also be the rescuers where we are, are, are if it's the knights that refer to us i feel for some of you this is where you are your own hero you are your own rescuer you are moving on certainly with the emperor energy to new horizons new opportunities in search of new love are certainly finding self-love in this direction And yeah, um, we have somebody here, it is a struggle, you know, how they feel about you. It is hard work, it is a struggle. They don't know if they want to go any further in this relationship. They want to keep their options open. They, they want to keep their options open. We have the Six of Pentacles as well. They're open to new connections here. And I just feel for some of you, you may have gone through this situation where someone might not be fully committed to you anymore some of you somebody I mean this is the wounded warrior where you know they're so close to either bringing something to a close they're still wondering they're still at that 11th hour wondering whether this is something for them or not they're not quite across the finish line yet but it's very close and I think there is a sense that they are wanting to keep their options open here this is new connections, new communications, the Eight of Wands, potentially leading to solid opportunities elsewhere. I'm kind of feeling that there is a, there's a big feeling here that, yeah, I just think you're in search of new horizons. And you know what? I think you're going to find it. <laughs> Possibly with a cancer. Because... You know, the Queen of Cups is a card of cancer, and this could be a new beginning. There could be an opportunity for some, for, for some of you in new love. Now, the Queen of Cups is somebody who, who, who has mastered self-love as well. She is water on water. There is a deep emotional connection with this Queen, male or female. She won't just see you on a surface level. She will see the real you. She will see beneath the surface. She is exceptionally intuitive. And she trusts her intuition to guide her heart as well. So that might be a message for some of you as well, Scorpio. But this is about taking the leap of faith, taking a chance on the new beginning, a new path opening up for you. Now, this can be about self-love, but it can also be about new love being offered to you. And you're being told to take a chance in the, on the new, if it is. Don't hold yourself back. This can be about self-sabotage. This can also be about deception that may have gone on in your external environment, truths that could have come to light, things that were going on beneath the surface that you weren't aware of, but you were, you were made aware of because we had the tower here. Um, but it can also be about self-sabotage, how we hold ourselves back from allowing endings to happen in order to embrace the new. And something needs to end, something needs to draw a line under a situation, shed an old skin. The Phoenix, this is the Phoenix Rising card. The Phoenix rises from its own destruction. It is destroying the old to allow the new to shine, you know, to allow the new to come into your life. So don't hold yourself back, don't self-sabotage Scorpio. Um, because I kind of feel for this, this is a deep, karmic, rewarding feeling of positive change. You have the cards of change at the beginning and end of your reading. You know, death is that change. Something may have come to a close because it needed to come to a close in order for you to embrace the new. These things sometimes happen for a reason and that's what you're being told with this energy. So you're being told in a way to break free of whatever this was. Powerful, Scorpio. Because I certainly feel Queen of Cups, which is a beautiful energy. Um, you know, there is new love here. There is new love for some of you. And it might well be for some of you that say what you mean. 
can sometimes mean about your internal clarity, your internal communication with yourself. What do you want now? Where do you want to go to? What do you want and what you don't want? It might be that as much about speaking about your truth and your external environment too. I'm going to pull a card to finish off the reading, Scorpio, but this is really lovely. Yeah, very true, honour thyself. Just curious, when was the last time you looked into a mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent or sublime? It matters. Here's looking at you, gorgeous, the universe. <laughs> yeah, I just think there is a big message of putting yourself first now, taking that leap of faith on the new. The fool doesn't fear the new. He carries no baggage, next to no baggage, because he's already released it. So don't hold back from this new beginning. Yeah, because I do feel when you do, this is a promise of something really deep and rewarding. Powerful, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.